Hey, this is Vicki Johnston, and I want to thank Stall High for supporting the DK Cowgirls. This is Cadence, who just ran in the Sherry Survey Youth Barrel Race. Cadence, can you tell me about your weekend at Sherry Survey's race? Um, it was it was good. It it wasn't it wasn't bad. I did pretty good. I think I only knocked one barrel out of all my runs, and I think that's a pretty good average. And I had a lot of fun, so that's that's kind of how it went. And what was your fastest time? Uh, my fastest time through the whole weekend was a 15 -0. And can you tell me a little bit about your horse that you ran your fastest time on? Well, she is right here, and her name is Bone, and she is the fastest horse I ever ran, ever. And she was raised on the Denticay farm, and she's just a great horse. And was she raised on your family ranch? Yeah. And who else did you bring to compete on this weekend? Um, I brought Penny and I brought Ginger. Can you give a little advice to all the kids out there who are just starting into barrel racing? Um, well, one thing that's helped me a lot is just, just because you have a bad run doesn't mean it just defines your whole entire day. So just keep going and even if you have a bad run, it's fine, you just go on. Just don't think about it. And I'm here with Kenzie with the DK Cowgirls and Stall Hike. Kenzie, tell me a little bit about your weekend. My weekend was good. I actually ended up sixth in the 5D average. And my horse, Roxy, she did really good this weekend. We got our two fastest times. So that was really nice. And how long have you been barrel racing? I have been barrel racing since I can't even remember. So tell me a little bit about Roxy. Roxy's a great horse. She was raised on my family ranch, the FDK Ranch. Um, she really clicked with me this last year. I remember last year bringing her here. I was super scared to run her. And this year I was just so confident in her. We had great runs. And what would you tell other kids who are looking to get into barrel racing? Don't be scared when you first start. Be happy. Just pretend like it's just a cruise through. And so what about if they have jitters? Then just calm yourself down by talking to your horse and telling your horse it's okay. And any other advice for future riders? It's really fun. DK Cowgirl Cadence, what is one thing, can you tell all the kids out there that maybe don't ride a horse, how can they get started in learning to ride? Well, I started out with my grandpa and he taught me everything I know and he taught me how to ride, he taught me how to run barrels, he taught my horses how to run barrels and I'm just really thankful for him and so you have to have some teachers someone that's a good um, instructor, someone that you look up to, and it'll help you learn faster. And would you suggest going and finding an arena to do lessons? Yep, yep, and I would find an arena so that you can ride your horse. What if you don't have a horse? Well, I would start out by just going to a lesson barn that has horses that you can ride to see if you like it, and if you don't, then it's not for you, but if you do, then you could buy a starter horse for you, and then you could excel with your horse. Kenzie? Yeah, we also do lessons at our ranch, too, at our family ranch. We give lessons to people who maybe don't have horses or who do have horses and whatnot. But I think what would be really helpful for young riders who are trying to start or maybe older riders that are trying to start is... When you're going in the arena, just breathe and tell yourself it's okay and just talk to your horse your whole pattern. Okay, and what about for lessons? Would you suggest lessons for kids that want to learn to ride? If you want to learn to do barrels, if you want to learn how to ride, we do a lot of that at our ranch. So. What about, it? What about anywhere? Do you think lessons are a great place to start for kids? Yes, I think lessons are really good. You can just keep going like you can just keep going back to the lessons throughout your career if you find some errors or whatnot. Awesome.
So what do you girls want to say to everybody? Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you. See you later. Have good luck. We're the cat girls. We want to thank everybody for their support.